These are the most dangerous sharks in the world. You are about to see sharks that are fast, sharks with weird mating habits, and sharks that are bigger than a school bus. You need to stay till the very end to see the biggest shark ever recorded in all of human history. This is the basking shark, aka the sailfish. And from the first glance, you're probably wondering, is this the first one? How is this shark even existing? Look at it, it's huge. The basking shark is currently the second biggest shark in the world, only superseded by the whale shark. The size of a basking shark can range from 22 to 29 feet. That's about the length of two giraffes. And it can move at up to speeds of 5.1 meters per second. What's even scarier is that when it opens its mouth, it can open it up to three feet. And yet, it's the least dangerous shark on this list. Don't be deceived by the size or speed or the ominous mouth. The basking shark is actually a filter feeder. What does that mean? It just means that it obtains food by filtering plankton and detritus in the currents, and it is in no way harmful to humans. So we give it an A for looking huge and menacing, but when it comes to being dangerous, it doesn't rank high compared to the other sharks on this list. Next is the hammerhead shark. You might have heard of or seen this one at some point. It's a very funny looking shark because its head is shaped like a tool. When looking at the hammerhead, one is forced to ask, why? Why is its head shaped like a hammer? Well, the answer might be surprising. It's because of these not so tiny creatures called stingrays. Apparently, sometime during the evolution of the hammerhead shark, it developed a real love for the taste of stingrays, and it needed to adapt to properly feed on the rays. Hence, it evolved into the hammerhead in order to become the perfect stingray hunter. This is one of those classic, to catch a killer, you gotta be the killer moments. But is the hammerhead shark deadly? The data insists that there have only been 17 attacks by hammerhead sharks since 1580 AD, meaning the hammerheads are basically docile. So we give it points for the eerie looks and its dedication to hunting the stingrays, but not being deadly. Now, we have to talk about the sand tiger shark. Not to be mistaken for the tiger shark, although they are somewhat similar. The sand tiger shark is a torpedo-shaped shark about 10 feet in length, and it's been called the sand tiger shark because it's commonly found in tropical waters and shorelines, most commonly on the coastlines around Japan and Australia. Its physical features are somewhat jarring, as it has a complicated dentition, with teeth being visible even when the mouth is closed. Surely this shark is going to be really dangerous? Well, the thing about the sand tiger shark is that it's harmless and less disturbed. It actually goes around minding its own business, and only attacks a human when it feels threatened or provoked. Hence why there have been barely any sand tiger shark attacks over the last century. Fun fact, the sand tiger shark is commonly kept in shark aquariums. It's great and all, but when it comes to being dangerous, it just does okay. But it is not to be compared to a shark like the short fin mako, also known as the bonito shark. It's not the biggest of sharks, as its size peaks at about 14 feet but it is very intelligent due to its large brain. It's a mackerel-shaped shark that's found in the coastal areas of the temperate seas and tropical islands. Right off the bat, the shortfin mako is extremely aggressive, like sinisterly aggressive. It's the kind of shark that not only attacks people unprovoked, but it actually attacks boats as well. You could just be cruising in your boat having a nice time and bang, Benito comes for you. Interestingly enough, the shortfin mako is the world's fastest shark, with its speed going up to 46 miles per hour according to Smithsonian Ocean. Thankfully, humans aren't high on the shortfin's diet. It typically likes eating cephalopods, i.e. your squids and octopuses. In regards to human fatalities, the shortfin has been responsible for two human deaths in the last 100 years, and in boat attacks, it's been identified to be the cause of at least 20 in the past years. All in all, this is a shark that's worth avoiding. Now we're entering the more dangerous sharks, so buckle up. This brings us to the oceanic white tip. It goes by a lot of other names, like silver tip shark or brown shark, the brown Milbert soundbar shark, and the holy mamma jamma big kahuna. Okay, well that last one was made up, but whatever you want to call it, it's definitely not the kind of shark you hope to encounter. The crazy part is, is that you can find this shark all over the world's major oceans, and it's known to attack any human it meets on sight. It's pretty big for a shark, growing up to 13 feet at maturity. In addition to that, it has extremely large fins, which are white at the tip, explaining the name white tip. It's also not the fastest sharks in truth. It's a slow-moving shark, which really isn't a good thing. Why? Well, the funny thing is, the white tip only has one primary predator, humans. 
Humans sure do love the taste of the white tip. It's actually a delicacy in some parts of the world, which isn't for the best, because the white tip is actually on the verge of extinction, which is another way of saying humans are killing the crap out of it. In the end, the white tip is as formidable as it is opportunistic. The white tip has been cited as the major shark that feeds on survivors of shipwrecks and plane crashes at sea. It doesn't hesitate to feed on juicy humans at any chance that it gets. The white tip feeds on humans when it gets the chance. And ironically, we in turn do the same. We're both each other's prey and predator. But for its ferocity and opportunistic nature, it's best to run away when you see this shark. Speaking of a shark with ferocity, the tiger shark is conspicuously ferocious, and next to the basking shark, it's actually one of the largest sharks on this list, with the adult growing to the size of 16 feet. But what's really scary about the tiger shark is its teeth. The average teeth number of tiger sharks is 48, and each tooth can grow up to 2 inches, so you can imagine all of those teeth ripping into human skin. The tiger shark is found worldwide, but unlike the aforementioned sharks, it primarily operates at night, and when it comes to feeding, the tiger shark eats everything. Small fishes, cephalopods, crustaceans, and even sea turtles. But that's not even the weirdest part of the tiger shark. The mating processes between tiger sharks have been even more interesting. In order for the male tiger shark to mate with a female, they will have to bite hard on the female's fin and its body, otherwise the female swims away. So the male does this in hopes to slow them down. They then have to hold on for quite some time and not let go, no matter how hard the female struggles. Then and only then can they mate with the female. In a just world, I think these female sharks would find some kind of shark lawyer and sue these male tiger sharks for assault. But when it comes to humans, the tiger shark is responsible for up to 129 attacks and over 30 deaths in recent years, which isn't a surprise given its massive teeth and questionable dating patterns. But now onto one of the most dangerous sharks of them all, the Great White Shark. They're one of the biggest sharks in the world, and one that we should worry about due to where they are commonly found. Most of the Great White Sharks are found in coastal waters, near beaches, and shores in close proximity to humans. Not only is the Great White Shark huge and distinguishable due to its conical snout and blue-to-white ratio coloration, but the Great White Shark is also considered to be the third fastest shark in the world, despite its size, which ranges between 13 and 16 feet. They are considered to be apex predators, as opportunistic as the white tip, and even more ferocious. They feed on anything and everything, including seals and sea lions. They even feed on other Great White Sharks, which is saying something. But what's even worse is that they don't even have that many predators except for bigger fish like killer whales. So how do they fare with regards to humans? Not so well. Up to 314 great white shark attacks have been confirmed as of 2021. It's strange when you hear shark experts say that sharks don't even like the taste of humans, and that they don't knowingly seek out humans, and that they mistake humans for seals. But with the amount of great white shark attacks, it's clear that they have some taste for humans. Which brings us to the verdict that with everything we've described, the great white shark is arguably the most dangerous there is. Lastly, it's worth mentioning the bull shark or the Zambezi shark. This is the only shark known to be able to survive both saltwater and freshwater. It's versatile and extremely aggressive. It's not the biggest of sharks, nor the fastest. Yet because of its ability to survive in salt and brackish water, it is known for a lot of human attacks. There have been up to 121 confirmed, unprovoked attacks caused by the bull shark, and up to 25 deaths. There's a lot of debate in the bull shark statistics. Most believe that some of the great white shark attacks that have been recorded were actually from bull sharks, which makes sense due to their versatile nature. In the end, the bull shark is one that definitively lies in the run for your life category. It's worth giving an honorable mention to the Megalodon, the biggest shark ever recorded in human history, seeing that it's not technically alive today and only fossils have been found. Not much can be said, but we should all thank our lucky stars that such a ginormous beast isn't moving about in the Earth's oceans. Sharks are scary but important creatures in the sea. Sadly, many of the shark populations are in decline, and it's up to us to do whatever we can to ensure their survival, even if it means cutting on the shark-themed delicacies. That way, hopefully, they can repopulate some of their numbers and not end up on the extinct list. <laughs>